This is Joe for a very important interview with Elisa van Riesen from Holland. And um, this is the tech part where I look silly because I'm trying to make it happen. And I am going to try to invite Elisa. Elisa, I see you. This is going to, we're going to do great. This is going to be the the easiest time i've ever done it let me see hi everyone oh for some some reason it's still not working are you seeing my that i'm accepting you in there okay i'm inviting you do you see the invitation you might see at the bottom of the screen maybe a little button You should have an invitation. Hi guys. I'm going to interview Elisa from Holland today and we're trying to figure out um, how to make her come up. Are you accepting my request, Elisa? Oh yeah. Okay. Now I see your request again and I'm accepting it again. Oh, yes, there I am. All right. I can hear you. All right. So we're, oh. now we're going to uh, decrease the sound on Zoom and then everything works. Yeah. Um, okay. Let me try to do the other parts. And, and I'm recording. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's working. It's working. Um, you can hear me, Elisa? Yeah. Yes. Good to see you again. Good to Second see you. time today. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? I'm fine, yeah. Yeah. All right. So it is not the first time we're interviewing you. And no. we're going to be talking about um, how resetting yourself has dramatically transformed your acting career. And so for those of you uh, who don't know Elisa, she's from Holland. And will you um, share a little bit about the beginning of your acting career, Elisa? When did you start? How old were you? All of the beginning? I started when I was 20. Well, first, I, I think I started when I was eight. Yeah. So at, in school, I could do like plays. And then when I was 20, I went to the theater school in Amsterdam, the biggest. Mm -hmm you have to be accepted for that and then I was there like for four years and I did a lot of I got a lot of training and I did a lot of networking and met people and after that I did I did uh, theater and tv and um there were not, not I did some nice things they were really nice some things that really you know inspired me and I, mm -hmm. then I worked with nice people inspiring plays and tv work and uh then it got on a lower after my 30s it was lower in a way mm -hmm. or i was not so putting myself out there in the world i didn't do yeah. that anymore so i didn't go out for things i was holding back more and more and then and then i got more stressed by doing things mm -hmm. i felt that i wasn't able to do it or i, I, I got doubts or mm -hmm. um, a lot of self-doubt a lot of self-talking in my in my head and mm -hmm. and and then when i did the work i was kind of anxious all mm -hmm. the time or sometimes mm -hmm. in even in panic yeah. mm. so i heard all the voices in my head and i said i didn't know how to come into the to the work again or to, mm. to the play again mm. and um, mm, I did some other work I, I kept I kept on working as a trade tra uh, actress for communication so I and it was nice work because I did a lot of improvisations yeah uh, but I missed I missed really the of course the play and yeah. the other work I missed it mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. so then I saw something on Instagram with you. <laughs> and then I saw some. I saw something, and then I was like, "Oh fuck! This is maybe this is it." 
maybe yeah. this is i can had do you the... tried had you tried before resetting had you tried other things to get out of the the panic and the pain and the doubts the anxiety that you were feeling when you were acting yeah i did some other i did workshops yeah well they worked when i did the workshops so yeah. they worked when i did the workshops you know so yeah. in the workshop so I was like, oh my God, this is it. Yeah. And then I couldn't, I could not grab it. Well, I could grab a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. I could just grab mm -hmm. a little bit mm -hmm. and then, but mm -hmm. I still didn't put myself out in the world again. Mm -hmm. So it was like mm -hmm. uh, still having, I don't know, kind of blocks to go so to do it. In, yeah. In the container of the workshop for a little bit and in the safety of that, you would feel free again you would yeah. feel the the joy of acting but then the workshop would stop and then you wouldn't feel it anymore and you wouldn't uh, even dare to put yourself out there anymore so no, you because lost. like okay. no yeah because like in a workshop there there are people you know they're the food they are fully committed to you they're helping you they're putting you so you get lots of ingredients and then you mm -hmm. feel like flying in a way and then when you're out there in the real world and in the real on, on sets and on television mm. sets and filming, then th those people are not there anymore. So if, and then suddenly you feel blocked again, mm. in a way. That's an interesting perspective. I've never heard it put this way. The fact that the, in a workshop, you're getting so much attention that it's validating, it feels safe you're feeling loved and nurtured and justified and then you go back into the world and all these crutches of these people who were feeding their energy into you is suddenly not there and you didn't build yourself they built you and so it's like nothing happened yeah that makes sense yeah, yeah. did you want to add something about that yeah no that's that's it that's uh yeah that's, a, that's, a, that's what that's what happened yeah so then you meet me on Instagram <laughs> and you decide to reset yourself. How different was that from a workshop? And actually, I'm even going to underline that because, you know, like this last week we did a challenge and uh, opening the doors to the reset. Today is the last day that people can sign up for it. And I'm, I'm seeing a lot of people actually not understanding what the reset is all about like they do the challenge they understand they have blocks and limitations they want to feel free again they really want to feel the fulfillment and get more jobs and then they don't know what the reset is and therefore they say oh then if i don't know what it is then i'm not going to do it and so I'm, I'm gonna, I want to address that concern for people by listening to you. Uh, I mean, definitely share your, did you feel that way too? Did before starting resetting, did you feel like, what the hell is this? It's too scary. No, no, no. Well, I was a little bit about like the money. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to put myself, I'm going to put some money in this. Yeah. I don't know what's, and I, but I'm. I jump into this and I don't know if I get something back from it. That was the scary thing. Yeah. That's risky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I put all this money is it a in different? Myself? Yeah. Is it a different fear than a workshop? Because a workshop, you put money and you don't know either. Or do you know in a workshop? Because you know you're going to get all the attention. Yeah. And you know like a workshop mm -hmm. is acting on scenes. You do it in a group of people. You already read yeah. something about people uh, working with them at the workshops. You know, oh yeah, we're gonna work on scenes, so we're gonna yeah. do this and we're gonna do that. So uh, that's yeah, you've, so that's something you've you know. done that before. Yeah, yeah, you've done it before, so you know it, so it's comfortable, and you'd rather stay comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting. And then ha compared to that. How is it? How was it for you to reset? How diff or how how different was it compared to that? Oh my! It was like totally different because it was a uh, it was be in beginning 
it was in the beginning different because it was all about me, who I am, who am Mm -hmm. I? And that was the first thing that really hit me. Like, Mm -hmm. what is my, what is my essence? What, what am I, what am I, what am I, what am I going to put in the world? And then I realized I was not being me in the world because I always felt I had to be something to be be an actress. Something else, something better, something improved of you yeah and it's true like when you think about it it's simple but it's so true it's the first time i'm really getting it when you go to an acting workshop it's not going to be about you it's going to be about the scenes yeah or the technique the 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 technique technique. it's going to be about the character yeah and the reset is not about any of that it's about you (laughs) but the reason why that's important is that if the you is not a hundred percent who's going to show up for the scene for the character yeah. for the story yeah. something that it's not a hundred percent so it kind of bypasses the most important ingredient in acting which is you yeah mm. yeah interesting so I, I hope that helps people who are like what the hell is the reset yeah it's not um character work it's not text it's not technique it's not scene it's you and you yeah. are then able to show up for all of those things from a truthful free place yeah, yeah. and in the different. end of the reset we did some text yeah and course, then i got lots of ingredients i got also lots of ingredients how to what 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 am how to be on set yeah so how to keep your attention attention going on how to keep your mm-hmm. energy going on when you're on mm-hmm. set in between mm-hmm. takes mm-hmm. and in between and with all the fuzz around you know all the, the the technical things and the lighting and the thing and then you get so easily mm, this this your energy fl- flips away because yeah. then people are mm-hmm. going around and shouting and and you kept i me- remember in the last weeks of the reset you kept on pushing that that button as mm-hmm. well mm-hmm. and that was also very valuable for me to keep to keep being myself yeah. to keep yeah keep this you know in a way you're practicing very specific exercises to work on you and how you are able to be showing up present and contrary to a workshop at the end of the reset once you are you we do introduce the pressure of what it's like to audition or uh, shoot like very tangible uh, pressure to see if you can maintain you yeah to train you to yeah. maintain your presence yeah facing the adversity of what can happen on set the urgency the conflicts the yeah the demands so yeah that is what happens definitely yeah definitely. was it challenging for you to reset or was it like easy peasy no it was challenging because mm-hmm. I, I was like, oh my god, with the first week's exercise, yeah. I was like, oh my god, I'm not, I'm, I don't know if I can, I, I don't know if I can uh-huh. dare this. Oh my god, you know, you, oh my yeah. god, yeah, yeah. And then and after, then <laughs> so we know what it felt before. Yeah, a lot of anxiety and doubt and fear, and not knowing how during, you know, scary to oh my god, have yeah, to do all these things to face yourself and meet yourself, and so. What's the feeling after? Well, I can give you an example. That was very valuable for me. I did a, I had to make a self tape for an American series. Mm-hmm. That was also because after the reset, I really, you, I pushed, like I was pushed on a button, the light on again, because I invested in myself yeah. and I was like, and now I'm going to put myself into the world yeah. and I'm going to do this. Yeah. And so it was like, a stream of things happened after that mm-hmm. like opportunities came to me and like mm-hmm. things coming to me like mm-hmm. because i really put my intention attention on that yeah. again yeah. because it energized me yeah okay so then i did i had to make a self tape for a american series and i remember presenting myself like who am i i'm elisa farisa i'm from amsterdam i'm holland and i watched it back and i was like no, no, that's not me. Mm. No, that's not me. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
So I did it again, mm -hmm. like who I, re and then it really? fell uh, in place. And I still yeah. feel that they, that they first saw that. Um, yeah. Present. Presenting myself. And because I think that was also more of the part that they were looking for. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and I, I dare to do that. Yeah. And before I wouldn't dare that. Yeah. Can we share about how incredibly you you are to a point that because you have a great I mean, multiple great success stories, but there was also a success story where you had like a small co-star role in a season of a show and that they liked you so much that they wrote your whole part for the second season as a recurring yeah you want to share that and yeah that was love and, and why you think that happened actually mm, uh, i think i uh, that was last last year was in october mm -hmm. and then i mm -hmm. was like they were thinking about they were having an, a new a new um, character in the series mm -hmm. and they were mm -hmm. she was just a mother of somebody mm -hmm. So, uh, and I remember still that they were not sure about if they wanted to go on with that or that, mm -hmm. that was what some actor said to me. And he was the main part in the series. Mm -hmm. He was a, the big star in the series. So I, I, I worked with him and I think working with him that he was like, I trust now, I, I trust you or mm -hmm. something like I, mm -hmm. I can work with her. And then after two months, they called me and they said, oh, we're going to make <laughs> We're gonna put her on, and we're gonna make her a big, bigger character in the next season. That's yeah. great. Um, how does it feel in the last job that you've done? Is this actually is that what you just shot? Yeah, yeah. No, the last one is another. So I, 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 I also did one other series now, uh -huh. and um, there was more time and money in that mm -hmm. series. So there was more time for um, having talks with the director as well. And I felt so totally free. I could like, I felt so inspired to do and to, to present the director things like, shall I do it this way? Or shall I do it that way? Or, mm -hmm. and, and after a few, after a few days, or I think even after the first day, I asked him something like Shella. He said, "No, okay, you can do, do do whatever you want." Yeah. So it felt like he trusted me. Yeah. Like, and precisely. Like just... Once they see that you're gonna bring it all, you have their trust because they know you can do it better than they could possibly direct. Yeah. Right? So like, like he was like, like surprised me, but not in a bad way. Surprised me, yeah. but like, mm, let's see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> that was so oh, nice. Great. So nice. Yeah. So nice. Um, have, have we touched on everything? Is there anything else that you want to share about how resetting yourself and so putting all that attention on you um, has radically transformed your career? I, I put on the fire again. Yeah. <laughs> and I was start, starting to be really committed. Yeah. Well, and I felt I was committed to me and working at home. Ah, uh, yeah, that's another mm. thing. Working at home was so valuable for me yeah. because there were no other people looking at me. I was just in my own, mm -hmm. my own private place mm -hmm. where I can, I came to feel again, mm, trust myself again, yeah. trust my, oh. feel my instinct again, feel all the freedom out how you, all kinds of things, how they affect you, what they affect, that, that was pure me. Yeah, that's interesting. I've never heard anyone share it that way too, because a lot of people say, oh, I, I don't want to reset because it's all by myself. I want to be with other actors in the studio. But what happens when you're all by yourself as an artist is you take a deeper cut into your being. And, and there's no... Um, pressure of judgment or of comparison so inevitably you're going to dive deeper into exploring parts of your instrument that you would never explore if people are watching yeah because you're already afraid of going there but then if people are watching they're going to think you're crazy not good enough unworthy cuckoo whatever 
but the eyes of others are actually preventing you to go deeper. It's a little bit like if we asked a painter to always paint with an with an audience yeah. or a singer to uh, you know to work on their voice with people watching. Well, then how do you dare to be really broken and vulnerable? Um, actually, when you're alone, it enables you to reclaim yourself, to expand yourself without that the pressure of competition. Yeah. That's a very good point. Yeah. yeah, and it gave me a reason because I have a family and children, you know, mm -hmm. and I never was committed to do like, I only worked when I had like a project. Yeah. And now. Now I had a reason yeah. and cold. I kept that reason go like a, a painter goes to his uh, at, uh, how do you call this his room where he can paint at say it again uh, when you're a painter you go to your room where you can paint to your studio oh, your studio yeah. you go to your studio and I was like yeah. I'm going to my studio and I never have done that before like like yeah. a training like, like an athlete who yeah. can train and, I, and I, 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 I've never had the discipline to do it because I was like, mm -hmm. well, but that's not, mm, actors don't do that. Actors yeah. have to go, oh, actors don't do that, no. Yeah, yeah, you do. You create your own space, which is where you can, yeah, have a container for your explorations as an artist. That's great, that's great. Um, so I want to remind everyone that today is the last day. Uh, if anyone's interested in enrolling in the reset journey after the challenge that we had, um, so I hope that this conversation is helpful. It's helpful for me. Mm -hmm. I love connecting with mm -hmm. you and and hearing your perspective. Um, so yeah, thank you. I think I think um, I think I, I feel complete. How do you feel? Is there anything else you want to share, or you're good? No, it's uh... yeah. You're never too late. And my and my yes. son said to me, uh, "What's it, my son? Your oh, I call this? No, I can't say." My son said something like, "You're real life again. You are. Oh. Uh, it's your it's your rebirth." Something he says. Well, I remember crying the very first time I saw your completion video when you finished your reset and you were sharing how it was for you and you were very teary and you were saying, I found myself back. And I yeah. was saying it, I feel the chills again. I found yeah. myself back. Yeah, yeah that was so valuable. valuable. Yeah. That's so the most valuable incredible. thing for, yeah. yeah, that's, that's. Yeah, for, for human beings to be you. Yeah, if you're gonna move around and do your work without being you, it's, it's not that valuable, yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so oh, much okay. for your clarity, for your passion, your commitment for showing up here again and being interviewed, being available to, you know, to everyone who's interested and uh, yeah, for, for training relentlessly and going deeper and deeper. It's a, it's a blessing to witness you. Thank you so thank much. You. And thank you for your work. I love you. Yeah. Love you. You're so welcome. Bye. 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 Bye you guys.